So if you ever wanted to change this tooltip, the right text over here, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can change it and you can see that this tooltip is different. So let's dive right in. So when you're in your WP Admin dashboard, head over to Pages or to whatever page you want to head over to that you have your Elementor Forms. I went over and already created a page that called a basic form. So head over and edit it with Elementor. Now what we have here is our basic Elementor form and here we have our HTML widget of Elementor. So what you want to do is head over to it or if you haven't already edited it, head over to the widgets tab or to the widget sidebar, scroll down until you see the HTML widget and drag and drop it right underneath the Elementor form. So when you click it, you'll be greeted with the changing of the sidebar. So in the HTML code, what you want to do is copy and paste this script that will be linked in down in the description below of this video. So you'll be able to edit it very simple. You don't need any knowledge in JavaScript. All you have to know is that when you edit here, your custom message goes here. The message will be displayed when you try to submit a required field on your elemental form. So let's make sure that our visitors are actually putting the input in the fields that I want to. So let's say I want to make that um, this field is required by the web site author. And now what you want to do is head over and update the page or publish it if you haven't already. And let's see our changes in action. Let's hit the eye icon and open it in a new preview. And here, let's say I want to submit only the name and the message would be this is a test. Usually would be greeted with another tooltip, but let's see what happens when we try to submit. Let's send it. And this field is required by the website author. Now take a notice here that you can change it to whatever language that you want to. You're not limited only by English language. So you can feel free to translate it to your own language and use it for your own purposes. And if that video helped you, I'd be really glad to if you hit that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any other tips, tricks or tutorials on WordPress, Elementor or WooCommerce. I'll be seeing you in the next video.